Hey everyone, Ollie Easton here, and uh, today the Samsung T3 showed up at my front porch. I ordered it from New Egg Canada about a week ago. Came in this super nice package. It's a solid state drive. Um, this one in particular has 500 gigabytes in storage. Um, it's only 51 grams uh, in terms of weight and the data transfer speed goes up to 450 megabytes per second. I bought it for its ultra compact portability as well as um, being a solid state drive. It doesn't have a disc that spins around in a post to hard drives. And it's a lot more secure when I'm taking it, let's say on the bus when I want to edit with it. Uh, it's not going to get damaged just by doing that. And the third of all, it's speed. Before getting the Samsung T3, um, I do have a SSD in my MacBook that it's built in, but I never really found out how much faster solid state drives really are comparing to hard drives. A side-by-side -side comparison with my Seagate drive, the Samsung T3, um, it's about, it's literally half the size of my Seagate, although this model it's only half the storage as well, rating at 500 gigabytes, whereas my Seagate it's one terabyte. Now I got the Seagate for about $80, this portable SSD was around $220 uh, Canadian. I justify the purchase because I already own 5 terabytes in storage and I just really needed something that I can take everywhere I go that I don't need to worry about, you know, breaking it from vibration or shake or just, you know, general movement. Um, and I didn't need to worry about too much extra storage as long as it has enough for me to edit one project at once. And I'd say even 128 gigabytes I might be able to make do with it, but 500 gigabytes, definitely enough. On the side of this SSD, there are some kind of rubberized texture uh, to your hands grip, and um, the nice Samsung logo is on top of what I believe a magnesium alloy shielding. So, build quality, it feels really nice. It's not heavy, but it feels super solid. And the Samsung T3 ships with a USB C. Uh, Gen 1 to USB A uh, connector cable. Now, this solid state drive supports interfaces um, including USB 3.1 Gen 1 as well as uh, USB 3.0, um, which is very common in all kind of standard hard drives and stuff like that. Okay, so I just wrapped up uh, my benchmark testing with the Samsung T3 against the Seagate hard drive as well as my MacBook's uh, built-in SSD in certain portions. And the results are quite interesting. So dropping from the desktop onto um, one of these drives, uh, the Seagate took about 35 seconds uh, to transfer a 2.96 gigabyte file. Now dropping the same file onto my Samsung T3, it took a maximum of 9 seconds. Now transferring uh, from the drive to my desktop, the Seagate HDD performed a bit better with a time running to 32 seconds, whereas the Samsung T3 had a transfer speed of 13 seconds, so slightly slower than when we dropped desktop to the drive. Now the next result I'm slightly confused about, um, basically I created a Premiere folder file with the source footage that are on both of these drives um, and I created the project locally and I exported them locally which means project files on the hard drive, source files on the hard drive, export onto the hard drive and uh, same is true for the SSD. Now, um, after the export, the Seagate 
took about 7 minutes and 5 seconds, whereas the Samsung T3 took 7 minutes and 28 seconds. And the Apple um, came out to be 7 minutes and 38 seconds. So surprisingly, somehow the Seagate uh, hard drive actually performed the best um, with about 20 seconds ahead of both other options. Um, although this test may have been uh, biased by my uh, MacBook itself because I may have uh, searched up other content during the SSD export. Um, so it may have cost it to bottleneck in its power. Not super sure what happened, um, but those are the results that I got. Now, to make myself a little more confident that this SSD is indeed faster than our hard drive, um, I went and downloaded the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, and I set the stress level to be 5 gigabytes. So now, the first Seagate uh, hard drive that I tested was formatted for Mac, so I actually partitioned this 1 terabyte uh, drive into 9 for Mac and 1 for Windows and Mac, so XFAT format. So for the Mac only, the read speed I got 62 megabytes per second and write speed was 69 megabytes per second. Now for the XFAT partition on this drive, I got 56 for read and 56 for write, quite consistent. Moving on to the Samsung T3. Um, my read speed was a quite consistent 378 or rounding up to 380 megabytes per second, so a ton faster than the hard drives, and a write speed around 427, uh, which is consistent with some of the online testings as well. Now, I was curious to how my laptop uh, could perform after finding out that it's actually got built-in SSD as well. Um, and it's called the uh, Apple SSD SM256E Media, 256 uh, being the storage capacity. So with this laptop, read speed was 327 and write speed was 459 megabytes per second. So slower than the T3 in terms of reading, but a bunch faster um, in writing speed than the T3. Um, in conclusion, the test may have been a little unfair towards the Seagates because I have been using them for quite a while and they're almost filled up as well as being partitioned. Um, however, it's quite evident that regardless of use, the Samsung T3 should still be ahead of the Seagate because currently it's ahead by so much. Um, now, if any of you guys know why the UHD export was slower on the T3, please let me know. I'm quite confused about that. I understand that my experiment has biases and it's not perfect, but just let me know if you think there's a specific reason that I messed up on. Thank you very much for watching. And that's it. I guess, yeah, I guess I'll show my lighting setup. Um, this is this iconic 478D. Unfortunately, the memory button fell out recently. If any of you guys know a fix to this, let me know. Quite a bummer. Can't use the memory, but it's still a great meter. Um, now, my key light is reading at 5.0, which is two stops over, and currently I'm shooting at slot 2. Um, so, being two stops over isn't that bad. Um, my practical is nicely contained. Um, and it's not blown out. My card is full.